back, you filthy exiles. So, uh, I've been trying to work on a couple of other builds in the background beyond, like, Shield Crush and, uh, Crack Lance and stuff like that. And one of the ones that I was sort of playing around with has actually been, uh, Tectonic Slam, which is this beast. Like this. Now, this looks really cool and would be really cool if it were actually approachable because the way that melee currently is in the game is just absolutely dog shit for scaling up melee skills so to sort of put this in perspective um if we have a look at the current melee sort of skills or the current players running tech slam currently uh and i'll just pull this up on the screen this is like currently the ladder of like level 100 players playing tech slam and obviously like i'm looking at like the absolute like best out of these guys um which is smashed with somebody but at this stage of the league there's only like four people playing this skill um and i can pretty easily completely understand why in fact it'd actually be easier to level up dot with uh burning or ignite damage than it is to run like flat damage and i'm about to explain where this build really drops off. And this video is like not so much a build update, but sort of my frustrations with where Melee currently is. So I guess like first looking at the build, it, it sort of looks really cool, whatever. And I'll play it. I'll, I'll sort of run us through a map and I'll show you where some of the frustrations are coming out here. So we'll run a T11 map because T16, there's like fuck all defense and with the new arch names and everything it's just really hard to balance it so we'll switch it into um into the right stance sand stance so like as we roll through you're gonna war cry and as you can already see like mitigating damage is a real issue and we've even got overlord on this which uh which gives us fortify and that's not enough so like the build sort of plays through t re uh sort of uh t 11 through to 15 is okay it, it's that there is pretty dangerous pretty dangerous again that being said like it's level 77 but considering the yeah considering the investment that's on the build at level 77 with like the 15x that i've thrown at the build at this stage of the game dying to stuff like that just seems ridiculous um Part of it is my block isn't where it needs to be because it does run versatile combatant and I am working on a second staff to fix that. So we'll just get this to the boss. So the obvious thing is you, you got to keep war crying with war cry skills. I do have enduring cry... Ooh, a freeze. And so I guess this sort of paints a picture of where I'm sort of getting the shits with this build. Um... Now, you'd be like, oh, you're taking a lot of alley there, you're not capped. Well, I'm all res capped, so that's not the issue. My chaos res is zeroed, so it's not terrible. Now, my block can be way better, but that's not going to fix the problem of the spell block issue. It'll fix a bit of it. Um, and with this, you know, coming down here and grabbing this versatile combatant, it will fix it to a degree. But the other problem is it sort of fails at being able to mitigate any of the ailments like the ailments just absolutely wreck you and it doesn't make sense as to the degree of the wreckage that you cop from ailments so there's some real issues with the way that the whole arch system system's being brought out in relation to an entire playstyle. i actually don't hate the arch system i think there's some shit in it that needs to be completely taken out like storm strider and the fucking pylon shit and uh, things like that, and molten fucking whatever it is, mol the molten shell dudes, whatever, just remove that shit altogether. And toxic, actually, remove that too. I fucking hate toxic too. But the problem is actually in that the arch nems are so aggressive in certain elements to the point where you have no response or recovery time. And with like builds like this, you're pretty much relying on big fuck off levels of damage. Now, the guy on the ladder that I just showed you, he's clocking in at like 13.9 mil, 16.7 with bottled faith up. We're talking like the absolute biggest chunk of staff that you can get on there. Like that staff's going to cost you an arm and a leg, basically. Uh, it seems really simple, but it's very expensive. Um, now, I've sort of got something moving in the direction, and that's a level 100 tree I'll add, and a lot of players don't play to level 100. Now... Getting this 
sort of this is where I've pushed mine. I get to like five and a half mil and I definitely don't have as good a crafted gear as the other guy. I like the chest piece and everything. I don't have dual curse, power charge on hit, uh, multi-influence chest piece, which to be honest with you would cost an absolute arm and a fucking leg to, to craft. Um, instead, you know, I've got, I've got echoes of creation, tech slam of 40%. Uh, Swallow. I've even included a bottle of faith while I don't have one on my build in particular I have like a quicksilver flask so it really be like 4.5 mil um, to be honest with you and this is with some serious investment uh, forbidden, forbidden flesh and flame for warbringer like that th those two combined jewels are like 3 to 4x as well and that's later in the league um, thread of hope again same thing like you're not going to get that at league start or even in the first like two weeks it's going to be really expensive and if your build's not popping off and this is one of those cases where like I've seen build starter guides for this particular style of build not this build but for tectonic slam in the past and realistically if somebody's doing a fucking starter guide for this build then they have Abs don't follow that guide. Like, just don't follow that guide. If you're an average player like me and like, you know, everybody else, um, and you're not pumping mirrors every hour or whatever it is with a party or whatever, um, don't play, don't play that build because it's, it, this is not a starter build. Like this could never be a starter build with the current state of where Melee is. Um, you need Echoes of Creation, which I'm pretty sure drops off Cyrus. So you need to farm Cyrus. So you need to complete the Atlas to get to that. Um, the staff that I've got is 661 DPS. To put that in perspective. That was two div and that was like six weeks into the league or whatever it is or whatever we're at. Um, and still, this isn't the right staff because it ha doesn't have hits can't be evaded, which you have to get from syndicate crafting, which means you have to farm the shit out of syndicate to get it. Um, but even then, like with a staff this expensive, we're only talking about like 4.5 mil on hit DPS. Like this build right now as it is, this ain't taking Maven down. Like, in, so you can rule out farming Maven because it doesn't have the survivability. The fight would be incredibly frustrating. And like Lightning Strike Raider or something like that is just going to completely trump this in every possible way because of that, that fucking reason. Like... Um, even like my crack lands build through to shield crush was like way cheaper to equip out earlier. And you could take Maven without getting the, um, the forbidden gems. Um, and you can also smash your way through delve and, and everything else. That's more consistent currency generation than Alk and going right now, though. Depends on your build and how much magic fine you've got. Um, chess piece, like really basic six link, but again, like, you know, you're not going to get this straight away. And this is the damage with the six link it's not very good uh gloves pretty much all resist like gloves can be way better and we can have a look at that i'm gonna get this build working by the way because i'm invested in this build i'm not stopping until i get it working even if i have to farm delve with my main tune and then farm this i'm gonna get it working um <laughs> amulet like i'm out of currency so i crafted this amulet um just by you know alteration orbing uh physical damage to, uh is you know converted to extra fire damage uh, and Lava Lash, you know, again, you need a gold oil for that. So that's a huge damage spike, you know, 700,000 just off this amulet, which is crazy. Um, rings, again, I need better rings, like that's a given. But right now I don't have hits can't be evaded. So I've got to put accuracy on everything. So it sort of fucks me on the ring department. Belt, I've just got a really basic belt um, that I sort of crafted up myself with pristine fossils. And then, uh, and then we get into like the clusters. Now, just to get this up to having fortify on hit without having to sort of drop down and take nodes in the tree, which to be honest with you is, is not doable um, because it's too many nodes. Um, just to do that, like it's like four exalt for the, uh, for the large cluster, or sorry, four divine for the large cluster. And that's a two suck of feel the fight and overlord. Um, and you'd only get a, a triple with heavy hitter on that. And that's like eight divine, which is even more expensive. Um, and you know, that's the other reason why nobody's playing this build is the cost to get it working. is just, it, it's innumerable. It, it, it's, it's just nuts. Like who's going to put like 20, 30 divine down or 40 divine. If you're like a cash player or an average player, um, to get tech slam up to like five mil when you can play crack lands for 10 divine and get it to like insane levels of damage at like 8 to 15 mil or lightning conduit and one two hit every boss 
for like fucking 300 chaos you know it, it it's it's pretty insane to think that that's you know that's the cost to sort of get even where even to a moderate level of equivalency to a major or spellcaster build is just nuts so like config wise too like you know th this is this is somewhat misleading because number one you're not always in blood stance so you go down further and number two you're not you don't always have these stats up uh you don't always have nagamu's flame up so if you hit without nagamu's flame you're only doing 2.4 mil um and you know you're always doing these so that's fine uh you're probably always going to hit crit recently as well but you know if not you got a little bit more chance to crit when you haven't crit. Um, and, you know, we're talking about, like, if you take away things like the bottle faith stats, and by the way, this is this is including um, Guardians and Pinnacle damage. So, you know, this, is, this isn't, this is like, every all damage, everyday damage. Um, yeah, it's just not... It's, like, not really worth the investment if you really look at it. Like, you have to really want to play it. And this sort of... I don't know what I'm going to title this video because it's not really a build update. I'm just talking through the trials and tribulations of getting a fucking melee slam character to work now. Um, even beyond this, like um, I sort of patchwork the build together to get past the accuracy issue. So, you know, I've got a 99% chance to hit. Not ideal, but, you know, it's doable. Um, that's that's the biggest issues I see with melee currently is it's just for bang for buck. Like if you're if you're an average player, you either want a skill like, you know, um, Spectral Helix or Lightning Strike is just going to be hands down better. And, and initially, it's going to be cheaper to invest in at the start of the league to get to that first mill of DPS. Um, and then Spellcasters, way better map clear and distancing so you can actually space yourself away from bosses and enemies and position yourself. Because... For more experienced players, uh, you know, and even including myself, a lot of boss fighting is really positioning. Like, once you know where to be and you've sort of figured out how moves are telegraphed and whatnot, boss fights become really easy if you've got a character that allows you to do that. Minions is a great example where you just send your, you know, your horde at the enemy and they just kill shit by tanking face. That's why you build your minions up to tank. Um... And you just sit back and you don't have to even get into the fray. You just have to dodge any projectiles or, you know, patches and things like that that pop up underneath you. But, um, yeah, this is where melee just fails. Now, some things are different, like Flicker Strike. I know people play Flicker Strike um, and they love it and it does huge DPS. Again, the guys that have like 100 mil Flicker Strike, they're pretty much fucking no-lifing the game. And also, they're either playing in a party or they've got just, you know, they're just getting fucking pure luck to get those, you know, crazy divine drops and shit like that. So, this is a really fast build. But for those of us who want to play something different, who don't want to play, you know, Flicker Strike and have a 50 50 chance of suiciding on every single hit, um, you know, and that's also the example between a, a character that's built to sort of blaze in and like one hit an enemy or, you know, multi hit an enemy in two seconds versus. You know, maybe you just want to be it, play a big slow character that sort of hulks around like this sort of tectonic slam style of build. Um, but right now, with the way that I guess GGG has positioned the direction, this is like they're pitching that this is the play style they want. And when I went and played um, PoE 2, the, the alpha at the last ExileCon, this was very much like the play style of the Marauder was like big chungas, fuck off axe, like bam, one hit shit. Whereas spellcast is going to be like the pew 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 sort of thing and rangers are shooting, you know, shooting arrows and stuff like that. But the way that the game is currently played with the archnem system and everything like that, melee is just fucked. Like melee is dead. Like, you know, outside of the shield crush characters and even getting shield crush to work initially was a bit sort of painful. Um, and I got it working eventually. Uh, but as, you know, any, it's easier to stack those stats off of shields because it's easier to get a high armor shield to stack damage off of than it is to get a high armor axe or something like that. And the return that you get off that high armor axe is like you might do crazy levels of damage initially, but it's the gap close. You've got to get right up into a boss to be able to do any damage to it. You can't sit back. That's the difference of melee and spellcasters. And that's pretty much where melee just fails right now. And what we really need, to be honest with you, and if anyone at GGG is watching this, they're probably not, um, but 
you know, what we really need is some sort of, like, you put a melee weapon on. Like, if you want to put shit like Archnem in the game, then give us a di give us a, a fucking debuff or something like that. Like, if you put a melee weapon on, right, you are you using a melee skill, then you get a certain damage debuff. You don't take as much damage um, to compensate for the fact that you have to get up closer to do that damage uh, versus another, you know, another character. Now... That being said, and, and maybe maybe this could scale with the level of your character. So when you get to level 100, you have no debuff, and it's expected by level 100, you've probably got a really balanced build. Um, but up until that point, there needs to be some sort of training wheel to compensate. Otherwise, like, just drop, you know, actually build the game around melee and spellcasting equally. That would be the ultimate solution, but it doesn't look like we're getting that. Um... But yeah, I guess these are just my thoughts on melee. Like, I just feel like in leveling this up, sort of been switching between this and Poison uh, Blade Vortex, and I'll do a video on that. I'm actually really enjoying it. It's really good at uh, farming T16s with Blade Vortex. But if you ask me again, like, Cold BV is going to be better than Poison BV. Um, and there's been a lot of videos I've seen from a lot of people that are like, Poison BV is so good. It's really not as good as you think it is. It, it's, again, just like a bit of a bait build. If you don't know what you're doing, you definitely die a lot. It's, it's a pain in the ass. Um, gets really frustrating after a while. But anyway, that's a different video altogether. But the biggest issue that I've got right now with me, just the state of melee. Like, I, I really just want to go back to the league where we could play a melee build. And some of the frustration that I've got isn't directed at the new content this league in particular. It's directed at the changes that have been made in past leagues. So, for example, there was a few leagues ago where they had the Call of Steel skill, where you could actually play, um, what was the, uh, the slam? You could play slam skills. I think it was, oh, geez, what was it? Go slam. Duh, 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 where is it? Ah, Earth Shatter. That's right. Yeah, so you could play an Earth Shatter champion, and then you could run Call of Steel and one Steel skill in, and then you could call st uh, call a Steel sk the Steel shards back to your character to do additional impale damage, and like they fucking nerfed that out of the game. Like that was actually a really fun game mechanic, and it would have been nice to just leave it in the game. I don't understand why that got taken out of the game altogether. Like, what was that breaking at that point? So after that point, it pretty much killed playing slam skills because unless you want to run like hollow palm and run like stupid you know no weapon slams with like ice crash or something like that and just like go bang 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 the the whole concept i thought with the new sort of direction that ggg is taking is to slow the gameplay down but what they actually did was take away the shit that was slower in gameplay and heavier hitting and replace it with more fast blast shit and spellcaster stuff and i I find that counterintuitive. Um, that really goes against the design philosophy. And I got no issues with what GGG is doing in that respect, but at least be consistent through the rest of the sort of skill balancing and whatnot. But anyway, this is my sort of rant about melee currently in the league. Um, yeah, and that's why no one's really playing melee skills in the league outside of like Lightning Strike. Um, shit, you. <laughs> You, like cleave is not viable sweep not really viable you gotta put massive investment into that um chain hook i know everybody wants to see me play a chain hook build but until like they fix that melee style of play chain hook is just not we're not even willing to take that sort of hate on me uh ricky bobby but yeah, anyway, um, this is just sort of my overview of the state of melee within the game. Like, it's a 20-minute rant, basically saying I'm getting shitty with melee because I just want to play some fucking melee, GGG. Um, balance my melee. Fuck. Anyway, uh, if this video, if you agree with this video, like, uh, put a like and a comment in the description. If you think I'm full of shit, you know, you're welcome to call me out. Um, maybe I'm just not good at playing Tectonic Slam. I really would like to have been, but... I don't know. I'm getting frustrated with the uh, with the state of melee right now. Um, I just want to play melee skills. Like, jeez, far out. Melee. It's you know, yeah. Anyway, until next time. Have a good one and uh, bye.